In this tutorial, we're going to set up a RAG system along with a knowledge base using Amazon Bedrock. So let's jump in. First up, we need to move away from using the root user and set up an IAM user. The reason is, knowledge base creation with a root user is not supported. You need to sign in with an IAM user or IAM role. Right now, I'm logged in as the root user. You can tell because you see my account ID at the top. But for this lab, we need a dedicated IAM user. Here's what you do. Go to the AWS Management Console and search for IAM in the search bar. Click on Users on the left, then Create User. Pick a username. I'm going with John Doe, but you can choose whatever you like. Enable console access and set a custom password that you'll remember. Uncheck the box that requires the user to reset the password at login. On the next screen, attach the Administrator Access Policy to give this user full admin permissions. Finally, click Create User. Once your user is created, you'll get a sign-in URL, a username, and a password. Go ahead and log in with those new credentials. Now that we're logged in as our IAM user, let's set up our knowledge base in Amazon Bedrock. Head over to Amazon Bedrock from the console. On the left menu, click Knowledge Bases and click Create and choose Knowledge Base with Vector Store. And click on this selection. Give it a name, let's say Lab Knowledge Base. For IAM permissions, select Create and use a new service role. Choose Amazon S3 as the data source. Now, there are other data sources you could use, like web crawlers, custom, confluence, Salesforce, or SharePoint. But for this lab, we'll stick with S3. Next, we need an S3 bucket to store our documents. Open the Amazon S3 console and click Create Bucket. Make sure you're in the US East 1 region. Choose a unique bucket name. Remember, S3 bucket names must be globally unique. Leave everything else as is and click Create Bucket. Once it's created, click into the bucket and upload a document, like AWS Cloud History.pdf. This document contains AWS Cloud History. I have created using AI. Back in Amazon Bedrock, Select the S3 bucket we just created. And click Next. We need an embeddings model to convert our document into vectors. Select Amazon Titan Text Embeddings V2 and leave the vector dimensions as they are. We need somewhere to store our vectors. You've got a few choices. Pinecone is a great free option. You can check it out at pinecone.io and go to the pricing. It provides option for start for free for trying out for small applications. But we're going with Amazon OpenSearch Serverless for this demo as knowledge of this will be helpful for the AI practitioner exam and in your career. That being said, heads up to OpenSearch. Click on Serverless. It isn't free. The compute capacity is measured in OCUs, which is OpenSearch compute units. The number of OCUs corresponds directly to the CPU, memory, Amazon EBS storage, and I.O. resources required to index data or run queries. One OCU comprises 6 GB of RAM, corresponding vCPU, GP3 storage, which is used to provide fast access to the most frequently accessed data, and data transfer to S3, in the U.S. East Northern Virginia. Which is our selected region for this tutorial, OCU indexing pricing is $0.24 cents per hour, OCU for search and query is 24 cents per hour, and for storage, the cost is one-tenth of 24 cents per gigabyte per month. 
As you can notice, it can cost a lot if you forget to delete OpenSearch, so don't skip the cleanup step later. Choose Quick Create for a new vector store and click Create Knowledge Base. This will take a few minutes, about five minutes, so grab a coffee if you need one. Once your knowledge base is ready, go to Data Sources, select your data source, and click Sync. This uploads the S3 content into OpenSearch. You can check out your OpenSearch collection in the OpenSearch Service Console under Serverless on the left side. Click on the Knowledge Base. Click on OpenSearch Dashboard. Here go to left-hand side and click on the Discover. Click on Create Index Pattern. Copy the index name and paste it for index pattern name. Click on the next step. Click on Create Index Pattern. Here you can see all the fields are created. You can see names and if there are searchable or not. Now, click on Discover. You can see vectors. You can notice here six chunks. You can find the source, text, ID, index, and the vector for the each chunk. All these vector numbers are created using embedding models. An embedding model is a machine learning algorithm that converts data into a vector space of numbers. This allows machines to understand and compare data, such as text, images, and audio. Essentially, uploaded document is chunked, and each chunk is converted into vector using embedding model and stored in open search database. Time to test it in Bedrock. Select a model like Anthropic Claude Haiku or Claude Sonnet. Ask a question like, when was AWS Lambda launched? Bedrock will retrieve the info from your uploaded document in S3 and provide an answer. As you can see, it provided the response. If you click on Show Details, you can notice it says Source Chunk 1 and Source Text. Don't skip this part. It saves you money. Delete the knowledge base from Amazon Bedrock. But this doesn't delete OpenSearch Collection. To delete OpenSearch Collection, go to the OpenSearch Console and under Serverless, click on the Dashboard. Select the collection and the Delete your OpenSearch Collection. Click on Refresh to make sure it has been deleted. Delete the S3 bucket that you created for this exercise as well. That's it. You've just set up a full RAG pipeline with Amazon Bedrock. You created an IAM user, built a knowledge base, uploaded a document to S3, used embeddings, set up open search, and tested your setup. Awesome work. See you next time.